Hey, so if you're anything like me, you're tired of seeing a lot of players complain about how tough the game is. And honestly, I want to dispel that rumor right now. See, look, this boss, you know, I I can attest to this guy being pretty flippin' strong. Like at 100 million HP, you know, you put on your shield and you fight him. But what happens if that's not enough? Like you're fighting, you're giving it your all, and at the end of the day, he's you know, hi, hi and he's you know, baka mona da, you know what I'm saying? So like, what do you actually do in this scenario? Because my shield is gonna go out anytime soon, and when that happens, I'm gonna be ripe for the taking. This octopus is gonna show me why he has eight tentacles, and he's gonna use those eight tentacles to the face, right? So what naturally you're supposed to do as a solo player, literally all you have to do in this scenario is bring in your second account just to tie him, right? And it's just that easy. So now what happens when I tie him is that I can access me just fighting this monster without any repercussions. I don't have to worry about not dying because this is taken care of. My second account that I brought into the picture takes care of everything because it's just tying but let's just say um, we're, we're going to wait out a little bit just in case, you know, I isn't going to go on forever. You're going to come across a boss that doesn't give two craps about a tie. So what do you do in a situation where I isn't going to work and you're dying to a boss that can potentially kill you at any moment? As you can see here, I'm pretty much defenseless and i have no way of getting back to either safety or getting back to life like how am i going to be able to leverage my attack my hp my key and fight this monster all at the same time and the answer is you just get your third account and then you bring it right in and you heal it. Make sure all of the accounts that you're bringing in have enough key, right? Right? So now with that third account, you're actually able to leverage all of your attack, all of your accounts being able to tie, and you're able to play the game at a very extremely high level. There is an issue with this strategy, though. The only thing is, like, I'm not able to access the fullest potential that I can get. Like, this damage is nice. This damage is nice. Don't, don't even get me wrong. I'm going to press shield here. But the biggest issue is I'm going to run out of key. I'm not going to have as much attack as I want. So what even happens in that situation? Because I want to get a kill. Like, I want to kill a boss. I want to do everything that this game has to offer. Like, how am I going to be able to kill a boss, reliably kill a boss, and get the kill. That's when you want to bring in your fourth account, and you want to just get the snipe, as the kids say these days. So with Earths, they have the ability to just take over anything that they see fit, and just, there you have it. That is the easiest way to play DBO in 2024. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, more tutorials are on the way. Like this was just the easiest way that I found. And if there's more easier ways, just let me know, you know? But yeah, what a, it, it's just, this is the easiest way to play DBO in 2024. I know, I know everyone knows these strategies, but you know, trust me, trust me when I say that for those of you that don't know and can't unlock the power of 20 accounts at once, this is going to be extremely helpful. Because once you hold that barrier, that's when you bring in your fifth account. <laughs>